All right, so we're going to get started today. Uh, first of all, we've got to, you know, cover all the stuff about uh, the legal stuff that uh, uh, says basically don't trade with money you can't afford to lose uh, because you probably will. And this is all for education purposes only. Um, there are no promises of any trading success are either are to be understood as expressed or implied, okay? So we're just required to do that. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start a two part series um, day trade like it is your only business or day trading like it's a business, okay? So uh, today is part one, and then tomorrow we'll do the same time tomorrow, four thirty, and we'll pick up with part two. All right, so uh, this is part one. And, uh, you know, you think about, you know, have you ever thought about what attracted you to day trading, you know, and at first glance, I know what attracted me and that was, holy cow, that looks easy. I watched a guy, it was a customer of mine and I had never seen this before. And I had gone into his house. We were working on a, on a remodeling project on his house. And he said, come here, look at this. And he showed me what he was doing. And I watched him within just a few minutes make like a hundred bucks. And I thought, oh, wow, how easy was that? So I thought that was pretty cool, but I didn't really think about it all that much because I had other work to do, other things, other responsibilities and whatever, but it kept kind of gnawing at me. And I, I started one day, I just called him back and I said, tell me about this day trading thing again. And maybe I, maybe I had gotten fed up with, with running my own business uh, the construction business and, uh, and it just kind of hung with me. So, uh, he kind of got me into it. And I remember specifically thinking, well, I know it's hard for a lot of people, but I'm special. I'm not going to have a problem. I, it's going to take me no time to figure this out. And then easy street from there. Right. So I don't know if it's been your experience to, to, approach trading or that got you into trading but from what i find it's very similar to a lot of uh <laughs> for a lot of people so i want you to think about as we're talking about business and and perhaps think about this as maybe even like a kind of like a franchise you know so if you were starting a business you might consider a franchise most franchise owners choose a route, to, a, a franchising route, because the franchising has a proven record, right? Based on there's processes and procedures and product quality and things like that. So it's appealing to a lot of people that want to get into business to get into a franchise. So as we're going through the presentation today, think of our Pro Trader program. Uh, and I'm going to be using the program later as, as an example of something. Um, but uh, think of it kind of more as a franchise business where you just need to repeat what others have already successfully done and are doing every day. Okay, so you just you just need to learn what you need to learn to kind of run that pullback, your own little pullback trading franchise type of thing. So my history, what got me here today talking to you is, uh, is, is very similar to a lot of people's, uh, history. Um, I felt like an idiot all the time. I was the worst trader. Didn't matter what I did. It always seemed to be wrong. Uh, typically was, uh, failing because all I was constantly stressed because, I was always thinking about money. Money was at top of mind on every tick. Oh, I just made money. Oh, I just lost money. Oh, I just lost more money. Uh, everything about trading was about money to the point where before I even got out of bed, before my feet hit the floor, I was excited that I got to get up and go play and and see if I could hit the jackpot and win a bunch of money. So excitement is part of that. Um, but then very quickly, my 
<laughs> my experience was that uh, it was fun for a little while. And then I just kept getting beaten down and beaten down and everything I did and everything I learned and all my experiences were opposite of what I expected them to be. And, and it was just the most horrible beating on a nearly daily basis uh, that, you know, when I, I at, at many points, I was, I quit, you know, I was just ready to quit. Um, and again, it was because I was always, it was always about money. And so, uh, I quit several times and always came back, kept coming back and making the same mistakes that I made the first time I quit. So I did some soul searching and I, 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 I was trying to decide whether to quit again. And I asked myself this one specific question. And so this, this one simple question, which seemed simple on the surface, um, gave me a simple answer. One simple answer. And with that, Answer, I decided, well, you know what? Let's try this. Let's let's try what my answer was. Let's put that to work and let's see if I can turn this thing around doing it a totally different way than I had been doing it for the last seven years. So the question. Why is it that I can be so successful at running my businesses? I had a construction business and like three hot tub stores and all of them were doing very well. Why can I be so successful at that yet so unsuccessful at trading? What is the difference? And I could ton of bricks the answer <laughs> hit me right square between the eyes because i wasn't trading the same way i was running my businesses simple that isn't that a simple answer so can you guys still hear me is there still is there sound judith judith can you hear me now okay all right good I don't, uh, if you guys type something in the chat, I'm not reading the chat, but occasionally I'm glancing up at it. Uh, so if you say something or ask a question, uh, I may not answer it at all, or it may be a while. So if you need an answer to something and I don't answer it, just uh, go ahead and uh, type it back in later towards the end when I'll, I'll have a little bit of time if you want to ask some questions. So I had a good experience with running businesses. And I thought, well, why don't I just apply not just the business procedures, but everything about how I approached my business and how I felt about my business and how and what I you know, needed to do. So the big aha was that uh, to treat trading like it was my only business and it must not fail. That's a big, that's a big difference than what I was doing before. For seven years, I kept saying, okay, I need to keep trying and I'll keep trying, keep trying, just keep trying. Not once did I ever say, you know, was it in my mind that I can't just try this must work this. I don't have any choice. I have no fallback trading has to work. One of the big problems that all of us have, or a lot of us is that you have a fallback position Yeah, and you should, and you need to, but in your mind, you have a fallback position. So if this doesn't quite work out, you're like, Oh, well, I tried, but I still have this other income. 
Okay. So you've heard the, uh, the uh, expression, burn the boats. So these, these uh, explorers were coming to the new world and uh, the idea was, you know, if things don't work out, they get back on the boats and sail back home. And uh, I don't remember who it was said, nope, we're, as soon as we land, we're burning the boats. There is no turning back. And that's the way I approach trading. There was no turning back and there was no trying any longer. Okay. So there's like all these reasons that we don't think of trading as a business or think of starting our own trading business. So you don't know how to trade yet, right? We're all waiting to be successful to start a trading business. So in my construction business started on it. Uh, I, I started as a deck builder. I just built decks. That was it. And I hadn't built that many. And I was working by myself in a backyard one day. And I looked at all my tools that were out building this deck. And I looked up and there's a wooden fence around me. And basically a wooden fence is like a deck built on its side, right? And I started looking at that and I thought, well, I could do that. Never done it before. But by the end of that day, I had started a fence building business. Never built a fence in my life. But by golly, I was going to figure it out. And there's lots of different wood fit, wood style fences. And ultimately, we became the one of the larger uh, wood fence builders in the area. Um, but I started it without one speck of knowledge or experience, but I was determined that it was going to work and I was going to make it work. Now, a lot of us don't think that starting a trading business is necessary. You know, you, you, uh, you're good. You're good with the way things are. You're just going to sit down at your desk a couple times a week or every day during the week. And you're just going to execute trades and, you know, put maybe, maybe hopefully put a little money in your pocket and that's it. That's all you're after. And that's okay. Also. Okay. So maybe this whole trading as a business thing isn't for you, but you're here now and you're listening to this or you're watching this on video. So something about it appeals to you. But what if you've never run a business before and you don't know how? You don't even know where to start. Maybe that's why you've not done it in the past. Maybe you don't fancy yourself as that type of person that runs their own business. You know, the master of your own destiny. It just never occurred to you. Or you're too busy. You know, the whole idea of running a business on top of everything else you already do is like mind blowing. You're like, there's no way I can't do this. I am way too busy, too much stuff. But for most of us, we're just scared. You know, the fear of the unknown. When you have a job and you have the security of a job, of the paycheck and the insurance and some place to go every day. And, you know, uh, you know, a company that's been around for many, many years and you don't have to be responsible for the success of the company all on your own. Well, that's, that's a good reason not to even consider your own business. But for a lot of people, especially as it relates to day trading, it never really occurred to you to, to start a day trading business because why would you? You know, you're just trying to make some money. You're just trying to generate some income. Why do I need a business? So here's the reason why. Five reasons you need to start your own trading business and you need to start immediately. Nobody is more dedicated to success than small business owners. If you know, if you are one or you know one, then you know 
There's nobody in the world that will do the things that you know you have to do to stay in business. Whether it's working until two o'clock in the morning, uh, <laughs> my hourly pay, I figured out my hourly pay when I was running my construction business was less than some of my laborers <laughs> because of just the number of hours I put into running that business because I had to. I was dedicated and determined that that small business was going to be successful. And I knew that what I was doing was going to influence that success. So it wasn't, it wasn't like I was hoping for success. Nope. I knew the harder I worked, the more successful I would be. Unfortunately, most of us focus on money most of the time that we are trading. You can say you're not, but if you're struggling, chances are money is always at top of mind. Money makes us stupid. Money makes us do stupid things. Money makes really good people do bad things. But what running a business does is it starts to shift the focus from money to the health of the business, okay? Doing the things that are going to promote long-term business success. Not a few bucks in your pocket, but a consistent success, okay? And there's a division of labor in a business, right? When you sit down to trade now, you're it. You're the trader, you're the accountant, you're the boss, you're the CEO, you're, uh, you're the trainer, you're, you do everything when you sit down. And there's no division of labor in your mind when you sit down. For example, when I was uh, my construction business, I, I, I mentally think of this regularly it's still in, in in embedded in my mind where my bookkeeper's office was right next to mine and whenever i started thinking about money or money became involved or i had to do job costing or whatever it was you know taxes or whatever my mind would go over there where the bookkeeping happened this was not something that i did at my desk this was not my job although ultimately you know, I have the final say-so on things. It wasn't my day-to-day -day job. Somebody else handled that so that I could do the things that I need to be doing. Okay? So in any business, there's a division of labor. And even if you're a one-person business, if you're sitting down ordering products for your business versus, um, you know, uh, uh, arranging logistics, or whatever, you're focusing on that particular thing. You're not thinking about money all the time, all day long, everything you do. But with trading, you do. So we got to try to create this division of labor in your trading business. So you also need planning and record keeping. I would tend to bet that most of you here in this uh, event or watching on video do not do sufficient planning or record keeping. You just want to sit down and push the button and make a lot of money. And you think, well, if I ever learn how to trade successfully, that's when I'll start planning and keeping records. That's the way I approached it. What's the point in planning? And I don't even know how to trade yet. I can't trade successfully. No point in having a plan. That's totally backwards. Special qualities. You, you know, the thing about, you don't have to have special qualities to start your own business because you will earn those qualities if you approach the business as if you are are dedicated and it must succeed. You're going to learn, you're going to earn the devotion to something. And whether it's to the business or the people the business supports, 
you know, your employees and their families or whatever, you find that you've earned this level of devotion that you're thinking in the morning when you wake up instead of how much money can I make today? You're thinking, how can I keep my business healthy and grow my business? Okay, you'll learn to sacrifice. When I was uh, running my construction business, I was also the the lead estimator for many years before I finally hired some guys to do it. But um, I would be on the job site all day long, going from job site to job site. I put on a tool belt. I did all the work. I led the crews. I did everything. And then at the end of the day, they would all go home. I would go home. My wife would feed me in the shower. She, she'd shove a sandwich in my face in the shower while I was getting ready to then go out for the evenings and meet with prospective clients that wanted particular projects done. And, and I sacrificed a lot of family time and free time to make sure that my business stayed healthy. And that my employees had somewhere to come every day so that they could afford that they could then take care of their families. Okay. So you'll earn the sacrifice and dedication and determination. And you become more driven and you have to earn patience. That's one of the problems with sitting and trying to day trade is within about an hour, we start to become impatient. We get bored. We're watching charts move, and we're like, all right, something's got to change here. Everybody else is trading. I see price moving up and down the price ladder. So what do they know that I don't know? Well, screw it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into a trade because I'm a trader, and by golly, I'm going to be trading. So you jump into a trade, and we all know how that goes. And accountability, this is huge. And I'm going to talk more about accountability in a few minutes. So the accountability of to your business as the owner of the business, that doesn't mean you have to be a winning trader. You have to do the things that it takes to become a successful business. That's two different things, okay? And you learn how to deal with obstacles. That's a big part of, of, uh, of trading and planning. I think I had that twice. So many of us have dreamed about having our own business, but maybe haven't done anything, right? So why do we want to have our own business? Well, there's no... No more working for the man. That's a big reason. A lot of people hate their bosses. They hate the idea of having to go do all this hard work for somebody else. Um, or you you perceived freedom of, of owning your own business that you could do what you want when you want. Right? And that, I say perceived because once you're running your own business, it's not really like that. But that's what drives a lot of people to want to start their own business. So it's a challenge that's that's very satisfying. And you want to have job satisfaction because you want to do something you love, which is very likely the pursuit of some sort of a passion. Maybe you like to do woodworking or something and you decide, well, I'm going to start a woodworking business. So you want to just, you want to do what you love every day and make a living at it. Unlimited income potential was probably the biggest thing for me. Um, and that's that's the thing that I, I recall getting into trading, thinking, man, once I get this figured out, once I know the secret, what's to stop me from making as much money as I want? And I don't have to run this construction business anymore and deal with subcontractors and employees and taxes and uh, inspectors and all this other stuff. Uh, I don't have to deal with that stuff anymore. I could be just done and I can wake up and I can push a button a few times and make as much money as I want. I, 
I didn't necessarily think all of that consciously, but subconsciously, you bet. It was always there. So, let's look at some business costs for a typical business. Let's say you want to earn a profit of one fifty to 200000 a year for yourself to run your own business. So let's, let's do a, a typical cost. Now, I figured these costs out many years ago uh, for my construction business and hot tub stores and stuff. So this is just kind of a general outline, and I've adjusted the pricing a little bit for 2024. So startup costs, and this, I guarantee you these are way low. These are, these are low. These are minimal. But for a typical small business, you might be able to start with just getting the doors open with a hundred grand or so. Then you have monthly expenses. So we start adding those up. You're around 45 grand a month, 50 grand, somewhere in that range. Okay. Now, we know, you know, anything about business, there's not much chance you're going to show a profit in the first six months. Okay, you might make some money, but you also might lose some money just from doing things the wrong way. So for the first six months in business, without taking out any salary, you're already at 370 some odd thousand dollars of cash gone out just to try to gain some traction in this new business that you want to have. Okay. So that's a bit frightening. And, and if, if you take enough time to figure all this stuff out, you realize that's, that's way more risk than I want. I think I'll just keep working at my my job and not think about it so much anymore. But let's look at the typical trading business costs. So let's say you go with us and, and you decide on the pro trader program, which we have a number of our traders that are here with us today. I've seen some, I see some names that I recognize uh, are in our pro trader program. And they can speak to how they feel about it or whatever if they want to here in the chat. Um, but you could start with the, the Pro Trader program. You get a computer and a monitor and an extra monitor. Start up your uh, fund your account and get a copy of Ninja Trader. Okay, so we're looking at nine, ten grand. All right. Monthly expenses are next to nothing. So the first six months, now you're looking at about two and a half percent the cost of starting a conventional small business to potentially earn the same $150,000, $200,000 a year. So when you think about it, it shouldn't be so scary to start a trading business and run it like a business. It shouldn't be as scary as a conventional business, okay? So start. you can start this today as soon as we're done here. So what you want to do is create a business name, okay? This is, you've got to make it tangible. Make it something real in your mind. Create a name that, you know, you like. It could be fun uh, or funny or whatever, but it's now, it's now who you identify as when you're trading, okay? And when you sit down to work at your trading and to do your trade analysis and keep your logs and uh, work on your trade plan, all of that stuff, you're at, you're at your trading business desk. And if you have to have a separate desk for that, 
perfect. That's a great idea is to have a separate place where you can go to just work on trading things. Okay. And now you're no longer someday I'll do this or I'll do it later. You've done it. You're doing it now. And here's, a, here's another really fun thing to do. Go to Fiverr. Uh, pay for somebody to make you a logo. You could get them as cheap as five bucks. Or you could spend, you know, 20, 30 bucks and get a bunch of choices. And you could have fun with this. But have a business name and a logo. Another thing that makes it tangible. It makes it real. Get a business bank account. Now, you don't want to open a business account. Just get a secondary personal account that only manages your trading funds. Okay. That the money goes in and out of your account only into that bank account. And, and that's going to be for the time being your business bank account. You can also, depending on whether you need to get a business license or corporate entity, but you should talk to your accountant and your lawyer about that stuff. So now you've got this business. Do you have to be a good day trader? Do you have to be making money? No, most new businesses don't make money. That doesn't mean they're not in business. You just need to identify as a day trader. And when somebody asks you what you do for a living, what do you do? You could say, oh, I, you know, I work down at the bank. Or you could say, oops. There you go. Or you could tell people, I have a day trading business. You don't have to tell them if you're successful or not. If you're making money or not. That doesn't matter. You have a trading business and that's how you identify yourself to other people. And eventually you'll begin to identify yourself that way. Kind of like a fake it, fake it till you make it, right? And announce to the world, go tell your family, I'm starting a day trading business. All right. So we're going to talk about this a whole lot more on Thursday. I've got some really, or tomorrow. I got some really cool things that you can do to work on this and make it so that there, as there's a step-by-step -step process. You're going to need that bank account because we're going to do something with that bank account tomorrow. We're going to talk about that. So you're going to need a business bank account, not your personal account, but you're going to need a separate account. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question tomorrow. And the question is, if you worked for me in my trading company, would I be forced to fire you based on how you run your trading now? Okay. So we're going to talk about setting up your business and not how to just pretend to be a business. Okay, well, I have this new name and I have a logo and now I'm pretending. Part of it is that. But how to be a business. I'm going to walk you through that so that by the end of the day, you're going to be like, well, heck yeah. Your business has to be responsible, right? And accountable. So your business has got to be accountable to you and your family as well as you being accountable to it. It goes both ways. So I'm going to show you how your business can be accountable to you. Well, I jumped ahead. <laughs> Transition plan. Some of you already have this and have seen it. Some of you have not. There's a copy of it on our website that you could uh, register for and, and have it sent to you. Um. I'm going to walk you through the transition plan on how you go from becoming a hobbyist trader all the way to the point where you know it's time for you to quit your full-time job because it's interfering with 
your profitable trading. Okay. And then we're going to show you a simple trading system to start your business with. And this is what we do every day. Well, and then we'll have a Q and a on Thursday. So if you haven't seen it, if you don't know what, uh, what we do, it's the most simple thing that you'll ever run across in trading. See a chart here and it's got some little, little uh, indicators on it. Doesn't look like much. There's a lot of time, effort, energy, and money have gone into making this look like not very much. This is called our heads up display indicators right where your eyes are looking and the trade setups, they just look the same and it's over and over and over again. And there's no gray areas. There's no wondering when to pull the trigger. You know exactly when to pull the trigger. Every time the decision making is yes or no. That's it. Yes, it qualifies. No, it doesn't. That's all there is to it. So there's three trade setups right here. On, on this chart. And I know Doug plus five, right? <laughs> you want to say plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five. That's what, that's what we do in our trade room in the chat. Whenever we have a, a, a trade that everybody takes. So we're going to talk about this tomorrow also. Yeah. I mean, that's, I'm, a, a, and I know you missed the first part of this, but um, I'm a businessman and I was successful at business, but I failed miserably at, at trading. And the, and I figured out it's because I'm not running it like a business. All right. So if you've got any other questions about us, go to our, go to our, uh, quick Keith. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't warn you about this. Also, the, the videos page. And doesn't it feel like I know exactly what's going to happen? Just seems that way. So we've got, you know, if you need to learn more about us and what we do and our, our, uh, uh, our indicators and our trade setups, we've got nearly 500 videos. And you can go to our website and start perusing those videos. Um, some of them are two hours long. Some of them are two minutes long. The, the ones that I really recommend that if, if, uh, if it were me and I was in your shoes and looking for maybe a, a trading home, um, the trade of the day videos that, uh, that we put up on, on, uh, YouTube are also on our, on our videos page. The interesting thing about those is you can, and you could go back many, many years on the trade of the day videos. And you can watch about 10 from this year, watch about 10 from last year and go back about three or four years and watch a bunch of those. It's the same thing. We're doing the exact same thing that we've been doing for 15 years. And it's so simple to follow it. Well, after you've watched about 10 videos, you'll start thinking you're watching the same one over and over and over again, because there's the setups are the same. There's no gray area. There's, there's no magic potion or bells and whistles or anything. It's straightforward, you know, step one, step two, step three, step four, pull the trigger. And that's it. All right. So for coming today and tomorrow, um, I've got a, a special offer for you. And there's the uh, coupon code, TradeBiz20. Enter that for a 20% discount. I uh, had a couple people send me a request this morning wondering if we were going to have a special. So there it is. All right. Don't have a whole lot of time today. I'd, I'd like to put most of the questions off until tomorrow if possible, but just in case somebody's sitting there scratching their head, anybody, anybody feel they need uh, uh, some questions answered? You all good for today.
All right. Well, thanks for coming today, everybody. And if you're watching this on video, thanks for watching. Uh, please give us a shout. You see our, our email address up there at the top, support at theintentionaltrader.com. If you've got any questions. So again, thanks for coming. Have a great rest of your day.